Imagine a world where the oceans are ruled by a creature more fearsome than any shark, more powerful than any whale. A world where a 50-foot-long reptile with a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth hunts anything that moves. This isn't science fiction. This was Earth, 70 million years ago. Welcome to the age of Mosasaurs, the apex predators of the prehistoric seas. But how did these creatures come to dominate the oceans? And what led to their ultimate downfall? In 1969, Paleontologists unearthed a fossil in the Niobrara Formation of Kansas that would challenge existing knowledge about ancient marine reptiles. The specimen, LACM Twensley 8319, initially appeared to be an ichthyosaur or plesiosaur. However, as researchers removed the surrounding rock, they realized they had discovered something unique. LACM 128319's preservation was exceptional, retaining an abundance of soft tissue impressions rarely seen in marine animal fossils. This preservation allowed paleontologists to observe features that didn't align with known prehistoric sea creatures. The fossil exhibited small, non-overlapping scales arranged in a distinct pattern across the body, traces of internal organs, including a large liver outline, and a tail structure that deviated from typical ichthyosaur or plesiosaur forms. These characteristics provided unprecedented insights into the animal's physiology, metabolism, and locomotion. As researchers analyzed the fossil, theories about its identity circulated within the scientific community. Some proposed it might be a new species, while others suggested a transitional form between known marine reptile groups. After months of careful study and debate, LACM 128319 was identified as a remarkably well-preserved specimen of plate carpus, a genus of mosasaur. This identification significantly advanced our understanding of mosasaurs. The fossil's exceptional preservation allowed researchers to reconstruct mosasaur anatomy and physiology with unprecedented accuracy, providing more information about their skin, internal organs, and body structure than all previous fossils combined. The discovery of LACM 128319 opened a new chapter in mosasaur research offering valuable insights into how these creatures, descended from land-dwelling lizards, evolved into formidable ocean predators. The fossilized remains continue to yield information about mosasaur evolution, with researchers working to uncover more secrets hidden within this remarkable specimen. Mosasaurs adapted to ocean life with remarkable speed and efficiency, challenging our understanding of evolutionary processes. The mosasaur specimen LACM 128319 reveals adaptations far more advanced than previously thought, forcing scientists to reconsider long-held beliefs about these marine reptiles. LACM 128319's preserved skin impressions show specialized scale patterns that likely reduced friction as the mosasaur swam. Large, non-imbricated scales on the snout and rhomboidal scales along the body contributed to a hydrodynamic profile, indicating a level of aquatic adaptation unexpected for creatures with a relatively recent transition to marine life. The fossil's most striking feature is its downturn tail structure. Wedge-shaped vertebrae indicate a hypocircal tail fin configuration similar to modern fish, suggesting mosasaurs used a powerful, flexible tail for propulsion. This efficient swimming method allowed mosasaurs to move through water with ease, rivaling other marine predators of their time. These adaptations reveal a creature perfectly suited for life in the open ocean. The intense evolutionary pressures of the marine environment drove rapid changes in body structure and function. Every small advantage in speed, maneuverability, or hunting efficiency could mean the difference between life and death, accelerating the evolutionary process. LACM 128319 provides evidence that mosasaurs were sophisticated marine predators, utilizing a corangiform swimming style where only part of the body generates thrust. This efficient propulsion method combined with their streamlined body and specialized tail allowed mosasaurs to outcompete other marine predators and dominate their ecosystem. The findings from LACM 128319 offer valuable insights into the process of adaptation and the speed at which evolution can work under specific conditions. The specimen reveals well-preserved tracheal rings, indicating that mosasaurs had two functional lungs similar to modern lizards and snakes. The fossil's gastrointestinal tract contains partially digested fish remains, suggesting that mosasaurs had short gut residence times and low gastrointestinal absorption rates. These physiological features paint a picture of mosasaurs as agile hunters with efficient respiratory and circulatory systems, capable of pursuing prey over long distances. 
LACM 128319 also provides crucial information about mosasaur body structure. The fossil shows evidence of a forward migration of the rib cage, an adaptation similar to that seen in cetaceans. This suggests that mosasaurs underwent significant anatomical changes to become more streamlined and efficient swimmers. The late Cretaceous brought significant environmental changes that likely drove this rapid evolution. Rising sea levels created new marine habitats while reducing available land, putting pressure on coastal dwelling reptiles. As mosasaurs ventured further into the water, each improvement in swimming ability or diving capacity provided a significant edge. Despite their remarkable adaptations and success in the Cretaceous seas, mosasaurs met a sudden end. The extinction event at the close of the Cretaceous period, likely triggered by a massive asteroid impact, brought about significant climate shifts and disrupted marine ecosystems worldwide. The Mosasaurs story offers valuable insights into evolutionary processes and ecosystem dynamics. Their rapid adaptation demonstrates nature's capacity for dramatic change under specific conditions, while their extinction highlights the vulnerability of even the most successful lineages to global catastrophes. This evolutionary tale serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance within Earth's ecosystems and the profound impacts of environmental change. The preservation of soft tissues in LACM 128319 underscores the value of such rare fossils in paleontology. They enable scientists to build a more complete picture of extinct life, moving beyond skeletal reconstructions to glimpse the actual creatures that once inhabited our planet. Ultimately, fossils like LACM 1128319 not only enhance our knowledge of prehistoric life, but also prompt us to consider the broader patterns of evolution and extinction. They offer valuable lessons about adaptation, survival, and the ever-changing nature of our planet's ecosystems.